I'm no stranger to seeding tubeless tires with this $15 floor pump from 2012, but maybe you aren't as buff as me, have had some really stubborn tires, or you want to save some of that explosive energy for the bedroom. I'm glad I have the energy to read this book. Whatever your reasons, this is the Bontrager TLR Flash Charger Floor Pump, and it is a game changer. Look at this mammoth of a floor pump. Like, here's you, and here's the guy she told you not to worry about. I called the winery. They don't have a strictly platonic, he's just a friend, weekend getaway package like you claimed. At the time of filming, this retails for $150, which is pretty steep, but it's already saved me some shameful trips to the bike shop to seat those stubborn tires. It has a dual chamber design, which allows it to function as a standard pump and an air compressor when needed. It works on both Presta and Schrader valves, has some pump accessories stashed in the handle so you can pump up your balls and pool floaties, and even has an accurate digital display so you can dial in your tire pressure. Oh, did you go a little overboard with the tire pressure? No problem, it's got this red purge button. No, it doesn't activate a night of pillaging, but it does remove air from your tire. Sure, you could buy this real air compressor for cheaper, but are you going to carry this thing around in your car all the time? No, of course not and you have to power it. This pump is roughly 29 inches long and weighs 6.54 pounds, so it's very easy to take it anywhere with you. If you care, I measured the hose and it's about 58 inches long. How does it work? How do I use it? Let me show you. Flip this lever to the charge position and on the other side, flip it to fill tank. Start pumping to charge that tank to a maximum of 160 PSI. I found in my testing that 100 to 120 PSI usually gets the job done. Once the tank is at your desired pressure, just flip the lever to release pressure and let the Bontrager do all the hard work for you. See how easy that was? You want to see it in slow motion? Of course you do. If you want to use it as a regular floor pump, just flip the lever from charge to inflate and use it as a regular floor pump. It's got a nice, stable platform, and it's tall enough where I don't have to hunch over as much as I did with my old pump. It's even saving me from future back problems. The pump action itself is smooth, sturdy, and very easy. I don't know what else to say about it. I never thought I'd be making a video about a bike pump, but I actually really like this thing. I've already seated like six tires with this thing. The digital gauge is really helpful to get accurate tire pressure. Oh, 25.3 PSI? I guess I'll send this drop now. And I've even used it to fill up my car tires. The only cons really are the price and the digital gauge runs on a CR2032 battery. I think it would be cool if the gauge was USB rechargeable. They also make the TLR Flash can, which is $73, and it's basically just the air canister. I considered getting that because it's half the price, but it does add an extra step that I just cannot be bothered with. You have to use an existing floor pump, fill up the air canister, and then from there you can release the air pressure into your tire. I appreciate that they have a more budget-friendly option, but then you'd have to carry a floor pump and the air canister with you. Eh, I don't know. First world problems. So there you go, a review on a bike pump. This thing would make an awesome Christmas gift for the cyclist in your life. Too bad I'm releasing this video on Christmas Eve. Better luck next year, have a wonderful holiday, and until the next one, stay rowdy within reason.